So I'm going to put a needle and a syringe together using aseptic technique. So here we have a syringe and here we have a needle. And the needle, this here that attaches to the tip of the syringe is called the hub. And the end of, or the cap end, the cap is covering the needle. I mean, on your syringe, this is the plunger end and this is the tip end that the needle attaches to. So plunger, tip, and on your needle, hub, and cap. Often the hub is coloured for the different gauges that the needles are. So two different ways to open. You can either snap out of the paper or you can peel down the paper. So peel or snap is okay, but make sure that you do it with the plunger end, not the tip end. It's vital that the tip end stays completely sterile and doesn't come into contact with any germs or bugs or anything else. Remove the syringe from the paper. Be very careful, don't put the syringe down on anything. Keep a hold of it. We don't want to contaminate the tip. The same with your needle. You can either peel it at the hub end, or if you're going to snap it out of the paper, snap it out at the cap end, because you can hold the cap. It's okay to hold there, but it is vital that we do not touch the hub with anything other than the tip of the syringe. So we want to pop the tip of the syringe into the base of the hub and push, push it in with a gentle twisting motion, making sure that the angle or the bevel of the needle faces upwards with the numbers. So here we have the numbers and the angle or the bevel is facing towards us. That way, when we're giving an IV injection, we can see just how much we're giving. If you need to recap, you can place the syringe on the base of your hand, pull up and then gently recap. If you use your base or palm of your hand as a guide, that helps to guide the cap back on. Or alternatively, you can place the cap on the table or in a kidney dish. You can place the end of your syringe and needle into the tip. With your other finger, hold the base and then simply slide the cap on and then clip it shut. Principles, making sure that the tip and the hub do not touch anything or get contaminated by anything. The bevel is always facing upwards with the numbers. Um, and very vital that if you ever remove the cap, that you replace it securely um, and without needle stick injury. And that's how we put a needle and a syringe together using aseptic technique.